Hi, this is JP from Nautilus over Arkham. This time we are trying out Hela again, and this time I am trying to defeat Hela on standard difficulty with uh, Scarlet Witch, aka Wanda Maximoff. And of course, Wanda is a pretty powerful uh, hero to begin with, so I'm hoping to defeat uh, Hela without further problems. And I am using uh, Scarlet Witch in the Justice aspect this time, because just I haven't played that much Justice lately, and uh, Justice is one of my favorites, so I tr decided to uh, try out uh, this scenario with uh, Scarlet Witch Justice. Let's first look at the deck I built for Scarlet Witch. Okay, so... We are over on marvelcdb.com and here is the deck list. Uh, first off, we have six allies. We have Nick Fury, a pretty good ally which will cycle through your deck, draw you a bunch of cards, and with Scarlet Witch, you want to draw a lot of cards to get the good cards in hand and play them. Then we have a newer ally, Quasar. Uh, Quasar uh, is a 3 cost ally, and after Quasar and this player, remove one threat from each scheme in play. Uh, so, this is a newer ally, and it will help dealing with the side schemes, etc. Uh, then we have, of course, the Quicksilver is the Scarlet Witch's own ally. Uh, we have Speed, which came in the Scarlet Witch's pack, and after Speed Wars, ready him. So another good threat removal ally. A beacon is uh, also a really good uh, justice ally. Cheap and effective. Uh, Braid is a newer ally from the Nebula pack. Uh, when a boost card is turned face up, exhaust Braid and deal one damage to him. Cancel that card's boost effect, so it will help us deal with all of the nasty boost abilities. Then, uh, those were the allies. Uh, we have pretty basic cards. Uh, we have cleared areas, which are good for a true solo uh, justice games. Impede is a newer card. Remove three threats from the main scheme. If this is the first card you have played this round, return this card to your hand. So, might be really powerful in true solo. And with uh, the amount of cards we are drawing. Um, one way or another, this lets us draw a lot of cards and uh, only put the side scheme in play, so we probably will be able to remove the side scheme right away, so it is a good one. Turn the Tide. Uh, this is, came from Scarlet Witch's set, so after your hero thwarts and removes all threats from a scheme, deal 3 damage to an enemy, so a damage dealing a card which will be needed because there are minions, a lot of minions in this uh, in this scenario. A Zone of Silence came in the Mad Titan Shadow in the Adam Warlocks deck, so uh, it is a really good one of card. Uh, then we have supports. We have uh, Avengers Mansion, uh, Queen Carrier. Nothing special in those. Uh, upgrades we have Heric Intuition, just so that our basic part will be 3, which is quite st strong. Uh, then we have uh, one skilled investigator, because we are probably uh, defeating side schemes easily. So we will get more card draw from that. Then uh, the Sorcerer Supreme, which will uh, get our hand size up to 6 on hero mode and 7 alter ego. And uh, lastly, under surveillance, which is always a good card in true solo. Then the usual resources. So that's basically the deck. Nothing really fancy, just uh, strong justice cards. So uh, that was the deck. Uh, first off, uh, we have the Knipahelir uh, side scheme in play, which also 
gives us Garm. So we need to defeat Garm before we can get rid of this. And uh, we need to uh, get rid of all of these special side skins with the Guardian uh, minions before we can uh, free Odin to uh, then defeat Hela to win the scenario. So let's see how Scarlet Witch does in this scenario. So let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to start. Uh, I have pre shuffled the deck, so we'll draw our open hand. Uh, we get uh, Nick Fury, Energy, Chaos Magic, Heroic Intuition, clear the area, clear the area. So, first off, play a card from your hand, ignoring its resource cost. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck, and equal to the card printed resource cost. So, we are basically just playing Nick Fury, drawing a bunch of cards. Then uh, probably doing something else. So I think clear the areas are not that mandatory. We'll discard one, so we draw one. Uh, we'll keep the rest, so we can turn the tide. Uh, that is actually pretty good. We can uh, help uh, defeat the. Uh, remove all of the threat from here, so turn the tide, then we can deal uh, damage here. And uh, yeah, we'll see from there. So, first off, uh, this is a hero action, so we need to play the chaos magic in hero mode. So, uh, let's just flip to hero mode. Uh, Let's see, so I am playing Nick Fury uh, with Chaos Magic, so we discard four cards from here. So just double checking, it's been a while. So hero action, play a card from your hand, ignoring its resource cost. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to that card printed resource cost. So we will just uh, discard four cards. So this accelerates the... Um, Encounter deck, so we uh, discard Legends of Hell, Fallen Warrior, Fallen Warrior, and Frost Giant, so nothing special yet. And Nick Fury comes into play, uh, we will draw three cards. Okay, then uh, one way or another, we will. Uh, play it. So, just encounter deck for a side scheme, reveal that side scheme, draw three cards. So, we'll do that. Side schemes, where are you? We get the unnatural storm. Heroes and allies cannot be. Uh, we won't do that. Legions of Hell. Uh, when revealed, place two additional threats here for each undead minion in play. If there are no undead minions in play, this card can search. So uh, we just put it into play. So mm, just uh, reveal that side scheme so it can search. Well, that's okay, I think. And just checking, Garm is not undead, so we have to. Shuffle this deck, put this into play. It comes into play with two threats. And it can search, so we get uh, a natural storm when revealed, exhaust its ally in play. Okay, well, unfortunately, Nick Fury is exhausted. Nothing we can do about that. And this comes into play. Okay, and we draw three cards from this. One, two, three. Hex Bolt, Strength, Molecular, Decay. So let's see what we can do. Okay, well, mm, 
I will use uh, energy to play the Heretic Intuition. We will uh, use Scarlet Witch to work this away. And play... Well, let's turn the tide. So we'll deal damage here to just remove the... Actually, uh, let's not do it like so. I got a better idea. So, first off, we will uh, we'll use Strength to play Hexbolt. Uh, so we discard three cards from the top of the Encounter deck. For each card discarded this way, that has boost icons equal to, we do something, so zero, deal two damage to an enemy, so we deal damage here to move the top. Uh, two, draw one card, we draw spiritual meditation, and one, remove two threat from a scheme, so we defeat this one. That was the hex bolt, and now we can play turn the tide. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll deal three here. Actually, uh, hex bolt after your hurt words and all threat from us. We didn't work because it wasn't a thwart action, so we can't play the turn the tide. So. We'll save that for later. Use uh, Molecular Decay. I'll play Genius and uh, Magic Shield. No, actually first we'll uh, play Spiritual Meditation, draw two. Discard one, we'll discard this one. Then uh, we play the Molecular Decay. I'll use these two. So, let's see. Uh, deal 5 damage, and then. Uh, uh, we discard 2 cards from here. Uh, well, 2. So, we deal 7 here. So, Garm is defeated. He can thwart the. Uh, Side scheme there. We won't do that yet. Uh, we first want to uh, use magic shield to defeat this one. Then we draw a card. Uh, Zone of silence. We save that for next turn. And we will uh, work for two here. And that is our turn. We uh, keep this in hand. We ready up. We draw back up to five. So as you can see, there are a lot of stuff happening uh, along first turn. We go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Hella attacks. Nick Fury will defend. Uh, one plus zero. So Nick Fury takes one damage. And at the end of the round, Nick Fury goes away. So that was the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so um, immediately I noticed I made a little mistake. So, uh, because we had the heroic intuition in play, this would have gotten removed. So let's back up so that I didn't work here. I just worked here and then we added uh, one plus one, and I also forgot to add the acceleration, so we'll just put it like so. And let's... Yeah, and uh, I also didn't do the uh, encounter card, so let's do that before we go any further. And uh, we get Luffy. Toughness for response after Lafay attacks or damages a character stun 
that character, so that comes into play with tough. And that was the villain phase, so now we start the uh, new hero phase. Uh, first off, uh, we probably want to kill off the La Fay with the molecular decay somehow. So first off, uh, I'm using Warp Reality, one of the Hex Bolts, to play the Hex Bolt. Uh, just, we don't have that much resources. Yeah, let's forget about that plan. So I will just hit to remove the tough, play Molecular Decay here. And use uh, Zone of Silence, Warp Reality and one of the Hex Bolts. So deal 5 plus, uh, let's see, plus <laughs> 6. So this guy is uh, defeated. And we missed the split realities, which is pretty good. That is our turn, we ready up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and yeah. Uh, one other thing I forgot is that Hela has plus 1 scheme and attack for... Uh, and plus 2 hit points per player, so we actually have two more hit points here. Always forget to check the text on Hela. So I'll just add the hit points here. Then uh, also Nick Fury took one more uh, damage, but that didn't matter. Okay, so that was the hero phase. Let's go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threats here. Uh, Hello attacks, Scarlet Witch will just take it. So two damage, not that bad. And counter card for this turn is uh, the Queen of Hell. When revealed, uh, Hella attacks, you place one threat on each scheme, each side scheme. So we had one threat uh, over here. Then Hella attacks me, and I will just take it. So 2 plus 0 boost. This card gains boost icons equal to the number of side schemes in the victory display 0. So nothing. So we take another 2, and that was that. So. That was the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. On this turn I think... Could remove a bunch of threat and go to Alter Ego for some healing. But... Uh, maybe we just set up a bit. So I'll set up Avengers Mansion, playing uh, using these cards. Let's draw a card. Uh, Scarlet with Crest. I will port here for three. And uh, I'll leap to Alter Ego. So we draw back up to six. We ready up. Get uh, Impede one way or another. Times two speed under surveillance and Scarlet with Crest. We go to the villain phase, we have two threat scheme. Uh, Hella schemes for two plus zero, so we are at five threats of the main scheme. And counter card is frozen, so attach to your identity, attach identity can kind of ready. Alter ego action spend uh, uh, energy and freezes resource discard this card, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, uh, we will draw a card, uh, turn the tide, I'll use that to... And uh, we'll have to use speed to get rid of the frozen. We will uh, heal for three. We'll flip. I'll uh, one way or another, so we'll search for a side scheme. Sit from set encounter deck for a side scheme. Reveal that scheme, draw three cards. There are none. Yeah, so unfortunately, we can't draw more cards because we can't reveal a side scheme. Okay, and the deck is shuffled. Let's see. 
So... Mm. Just... Uh... I will just play under surveillance here, and that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. Queen carrier, spiritual meditation, bright uh, magic shield, and scarlet witch crest. We go to the villain face. We add. Oh yeah, I'll actually put this so I remember better that we have plus one fort. So, uh, we'll add two threat to the main scheme. Hella attacks, I won't defend. So, two damage. Encounter card is uh, Draug. Draugr, Undead Guard. And when revealed, choose to either take one damage or place one threat to the main scheme. So, I'll just place the threats. That is that. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I think we will start by drawing a card. Skilled investigator. Will use spiritual meditation to draw two cards. Pick one. So we'll pick... Uh, which one we will pick? We'll pick a uh, hex bolt, I think. So we'll, uh, we'll use skilled investigator. Uh, we'll just play it. Play. Then we will a rat. I'll use hex bolt, magic shield, and spell which is pressed. And we will thwart one here. Uh, that makes no sense, actually. Just uh, hit with raid. Hit here for three. And uh, we will thwart here for three. And uh, we'll keep the queen carrier in hand. One, two, three, four. Ready up. We'll add two threat to the main scheme. Uh, hello attacks. Raid will defend. Uh, we will. Uh, let's check when a boost card is turned phase of excess raid and deal one damage. Cancel that first boost. Well, we can. That's so. That's knight sword to hello. And uh, it gives plus one damage, so red is defeated. And uh, Hellas attacks gain piercing, so Tufts won't do anything. Then we get an encounter card. It is God of Guard, discard an upgrade or support to control. I will discard the skilled investigator. And that is that, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. First off, we'll draw a card with the mansion. Clear the area. Okay, and uh, we'll use Queen Carrier and uh, Akata Harkness to play the Sorcerer Supreme. Then I'll use Molecular Decay and clear the area to play Deacon. And I will, after we can towards discard the top card of the encounter deck for each boost, I can discard it this way, deal one damage to an enemy. So I think I will advance this now. So I will sword uh, first three, then one. So that is removed. Goes to the victory display. And uh, this gets removed. Then we. Okay, let's see. When defeated, the first player reveals Yaller 
through and scourge and puts them into play, deal each other play one face down encounter card. So we don't get the face down encounter card, but we get Yaller through and scourge. Put those into play, and there are no when revealed effects here. So, uh, hinder one, so four here. Scourge is in play with toughness. Then uh, we'll deal one damage to an enemy for each boost card. So, this gets plus one, so we deal one damage here. I think that works like that. Because this gives plus one boost to each encounter card. If I'm remembering correctly, I just will double check. So amplify icon. The amplify icon increases the number of boost icons on boost cards. When a boost card is turned face up during an enemy activation. Okay, so it's only on enemy activation, so unfortunately it won't work. Well, good thing uh, I checked that. So I will display and uh, I think I will go to Alter Ego we'll uh, ready up we'll draw back up to 7 1, 2, we'll get an extra card, we'll shuffle our deck so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Oh yeah, and again, we can't remove threat from here before the Guardian is defeated. Turn the tide. Quasar, Zone of Silence, Molecule, Decay, Magic Shield, Genius, Export. We go to the Villain phase, uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Hela schemes for... Uh, uh, yeah, I think I messed up, so it's only now that Hela gets plus one attack and scheme. Well, it hasn't uh, done that much so far, so we ignore that. So Hela has two schemes, so two plus one, uh, plus one, so two, so four. So uh, we are at 12 of 22, because we have this under surveillance, so we are still in a good shape. We add one threat from the Scourge uh, scheming. We get an encounter card, so two. Uh, the Queen of Hell, Hela schemes, place one threat on each side scheme. So uh, that gets one. Then Hela schemes for two, plus one. Uh, two is four. We are still good. So 17. Then uh, Hela's domain. When uh, place one threat on each on the main scheme, place one additional threat on the main scheme for each side scheme in the victory display. So we had two here, so we are at 19 of 22. So now we have to start doing something on that. And uh, that is the villain phase. Uh, let's go to the next hero phase. First off, uh, we'll draw. One card, uh, one way or another. I'll discard that and I'll discard. And the tide. We draw two with Wanda's ability. We get to clear the area and Scarlet is pressed. That is okay at the moment. So actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, now Hela would get the he bonus health, so yeah, never mind. We'll flip. Uh, we, first, we will heal. So we get three health back. Then we'll flip. We'll start by. Uh, Uh, playing Quasar, Alius Genius, and uh, a Magic Shield. So 
remove one threat from each scheme in play. Uh, except uh, before that, um, we have to get rid of skirt. So yeah, let's wait with uh, Quasar for a bit. So first off, Beacon will uh, port here. Uh, we'll reveal. A, so we deal one damage somewhere. We'll deal it there. Uh, Scarlet Witch will uh, molecular decay scourge. I'm using genius and uh, Scarlet Witch is pressed. Uh, we reveal two. We can only reveal one, so we deal one additional damage, but it's enough to defeat scourge. Now we are able to. Get threat removed from there. I'm thinking of saving that for a, one more turn, so we'll actually play. Uh, I'll use Hexbolt to play the Magic Shield. I use Clear the Area to play the Zone of Silence. So choose a scheme and discard up to four cards from the top of your deck. Remove one threat from that scheme for each card discard way, so I'll discard four. We So turn the tight queen carrier one way or another and speed it to spiritual meditation, so we remove four from here. And we'll keep Quasar in hand. So we have magic shield, beacon and scarlet witch in good shape. We'll draw back up to six because we have the sorcerer supreme in play. Agatha Harkness, turn the tide, Nick Fury, impede. Uh, warp reality and quasar. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, so 15 of. I'll actually change that to a 5. Uh, so 15. So uh, hello attacks. I will take it to Scarlet Witch. So actually, we added one boost card here. So we have to shuffle this. We added one acceleration token there. So we actually added two here. So now why one way or another or again in effect, we can use those because there are side schemes here. So Hella attacks, I will take it it's called which so uh, 3 plus 0 and we'll use the magic shield so when a friendly character would take any amount of damage discard magic shield prevent 3 of that damage so we don't take any damage and come to cards for this turn is the waste of Mifelheim when real take one indirect damage take one additional indirect damage for each side scene in victory display so we'll take 2 I'll take it the scarlet witch and we forgot to add 1 damage on Beacon last turn. But yeah, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, on this turn, I think we will uh, first draw a card. Silver. We could play Nick Fury to draw more cards. I think we'll do that. So. Actually. We save Nick Fury for next turn. This turn we will uh, we'll play Quicksilver. So no. First off, we will use uh, Warp Reality and Agatha to play Impede. So we remove three threat from a scheme. I'll do it from here. Then this returns into our hand. We'll actually play it again, or no? Uh, we'll actually want to use become so. Uh, 
let's use these three to play. Quasar. So we remove one threat from each team. And then we will part for three here. For, uh, part for one here. Then that is our turn, so we're ready up. Draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get the area, raid, skill the investigator, export, strength, and Nick Fury. We'll go to the villain phase. We have two threats here. Four and ten. Uh, Hella attacks. Beacon will defend. So, Beacon is defeated. Front guard is. Uh, Hella's cloak. Attached to Hella. Hella against Talvard. So, we'll add Talvard to Hella. So, we can't stun or confuse Hella. And that is basically it. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. This turn, we'll start by car with the mansion. We'll use uh, skill investigator, uh, raids, and uh, let's use. Clear the area. Uh, just a moment. So we are playing Nick Fury, so strength, uh, magic shield, and let's use raid to play Nick Fury. We'll draw three cards. Uh, one way or another, we'll play that. We'll search for a uh, side scheme. Don't have any undead minions, so. Cause, uh, um, that would cause a uh, search. So let's see our options. We really don't that have that many options, so we'll just risk it. So it comes into play with two, it searches, and uh, when revealed, place one threat on the main scheme, place one additional threat to the main scheme for each side scheme in place of it. Add two here, not that bad. Uh, Nick Fury, and uh, we'll play the skill investigator. Oh, yeah, and we drew uh, three cars from the one way or another. So let's play the skill investigator and then... Uh, what should we do? Mm. I'll use spiritual meditation. Draw two, discard one. Get the area and hex bolt. Uh, we'll keep hex bolt. So let's start blasting with hex bolts and stuff. First off, uh, we'll play Hexbolt. And we'll reveal three here. Two is uh, draw a card. Two is draw a card. And one is remove two threat from a scheme. We'll do that here. And uh, Nick's Fury will actually defeat this one. So now uh, Hela has more health, so we'll add two here. And uh, we'll put the Hulls of Nostron into play and also Mid Hog. And it comes into play with tough. I'll use Quasar to remove the tough. Nick 
Fury has taken one damage. Let's see. Um, we still have. Oh, did we? Yeah, we played one of the hex bolts there. We will uh, play molecular decay. We. I think I'm using. No, I'm using spiritual meditation first. Sorry for the mess, but it is a bit messy with uh, playing with Scarlet <laughs> Witch and all of this uh, card draw. Okay, so Impede and Molecular Decay. I'm using Speed and Impede. And uh, we have the area to play Molecular Decay to defeat this guy. I will discard two, so it takes an extra three. Really doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it goes in the victory display. We have, oh yeah, and I think I forgot to, when, when defeat uh, Hinterman. Did we forget to uh, trigger here? When defeat at the first player reveals half of natural damage, puts them in play then. Okay, so uh, we just forgot to deal the face down count card here. And uh, just to be clear, we have two. Uh, defeated size scheme, so Hela has plus two scheme and attack. And uh, in there one, so that has five red on it. And uh, uh, not sure if we remember to draw the card with the skill investigator for I think I did it. Probably. So I'm using uh, Magic Shield and Hex Bolt to play another Hex Bolt. So let's see, uh, we reveal three cards. Two, draw a card, Chaos Magic. Uh, we got uh, one. It is removed to threat. That is perfect for our intentions. And lastly, one remove to threat. So Scarlet Witch will defeat this. When defeated, the first player detaches Odin from the main scheme and takes control of him. Deal each player one face down cut card. And Hela gets plus two health, so just do it like this. So we need to deal uh, 10, 16 damage. A few turns, so that's okay. Well, we'll use Chaos Magic to play the Molecular Decay on Ella, so we'll discard 3, then we will discard 2 additional. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll just deal one here. So. 4 extra damage, so 5 plus 4 is 9. So we'll just add 1 here. 7 more damage to go. And that is our turn. We'll keep the 1 hex bolt in hand. So actually, I think we played that. Oh well, we'll ready up. Uh, we draw, so we get another encounter card. Then uh, we need to shuffle our deck. Pretty close. Just need to deal seven more damage to Hela. And that is it, so yeah, we... I think we got... Uh, just a moment, so we... So we take control of Odin. While Odin is not attached to the main scheme, he gains... The first player gains control of Odin. Odin cannot have cards attached and does not against the ally limit. If Odin leaves play, the players lose the game, so... Odin is just in play. So, one, two, three, four, five... More cards. We have impede one way or another, spiritual meditation, molecular decay, we can clear the area. So I think we're safe to say that we can win next turn. 
uh, we'll go to the villain face. We add two threat here. Hello attacks. Nick Fury will defend. Uh, Nick Fury is defeated. We'll get an encounter card. We get Dauger. It has card. That slows us down a bit. We need to defeat that first. Uh, Hella attacks you. Place one threat on each side. Skill there are none. Yeah, well, there is one. Glad that. So, uh, Hella attacks me. I'll take it with the uh, Scarlet Witch. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, actually, let's take it with Quasar. So, yeah, well, just to be safe. Then, next one, uh, Unnatural Storm. So, Exhaust each ally. Heroes and allies cannot be ready by player card effects, so it slows us down a bit, but that's not that bad. Then, <coughs> oh yeah, last one. Hell attacks you, place one threat on each side. That is a bit not annoying. Okay. So, Frozen, so two. So we take four, five, seven. Actually, I'm defending. So, uh, yeah. So we'll take two less damage because we really don't need to thwart. We just need to deal damage. So. Uh, that was the hero phase. Oh no, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase and try to end this. Okay, well, uh, we'll use Odin. So Odin takes two damage and defeats the Dogger. Then we'll use Spiritual Meditation to draw two and pick one. Uh, we will. Play beacon and uh, we will play molecular decay. Oh, yeah, we could draw one more card just in case. So, molecular decay, we deal five damage here, we reveal two, and we deal two more damage here, defeating Hela. So that is game. Hela is defeated. Uh, when Hela is defeated, if Odin is not attached to the main scheme, you win the game. So, we win the game. So, that was a uh, fun roller coaster game. I think I made some mistakes, but it's been a while. I haven't played uh, with Scarlet Witch in a while. So, fun to do some errors, but I, I think we got through that. Uh, quite cleanly. I may have missed some uh, triggers here and there, but it is what it is. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.